The nice folks at Softflex sent me their May monthly design jewelry kit. This one's called Amazon Princess and is based on Wonder Woman. Stay tuned to see what's inside and some of the things you can make with it. Hi there, Sandy here. Welcome to another Friday Findings video at KeepsakeCrafts.net. First of all, I just love getting packages like this that are packaged beautifully. And by the way, I save things like this string. It, even if you pay for it, it still feels like a gift. And here's just a little bit of a note about the Softflex Mystery Design Kits. They contain everything you need to bead except the tools. They contain wire, beads, crimps, findings, and more. And they're always curated to be in a particular design. Like I said, this theme is Amazon Princess or Wonder Woman. So let's see what we've got. First of all, we have some gold beading wire. This is nice quality beading wire, 49 strands, which means it's nice and flexible. There's actually inside every one of these strands are 49 strands. Sometimes you'll see these at the craft store, they'll say seven strands or 19 strands, and you can tell the difference. It's just nicer. It just has a nicer drape and is more flexible and less stiff. And this is a pretty, fairly heavy diameter point. One nine, but this will be great for stringing bead necklaces like with glass beads. We also get some gold filled crimp tubes, some gold filled ear wires, a gold plated lobster claw clasp, and two tiara cast star charms. Those are pretty cute. Let's see, we've got some red bugle beads. That is a gorgeous shade of red. If I do red, it's this red, this, this deep, deep red. The orangey red is less my favorite color. This one I love. It's May now, um, and we're a long ways from Christmas, but boy, wouldn't these stars and the red go very nice for Christmas colors. Six millimeter check glass two hole uh, red square beads. Two hole beads are fun to play with. Six millimeter check glass gold stone faceted rounds. That's an interesting, it's like a mustardy color. Very interesting. Six by eight millimeter check glass sapphire rainbow ovals. Oh, and some really cute four by eight millimeter check glass daggers with gold finish. I love these little daggers. And then they have a special curated mix. Uh, from Jesse James that put they Jesse James designs actually Jesse James beads actually puts these mixes together just for soft flex with their theme in mind. And there's always all kinds of interesting things in here. So let's see what we've got. I love to just kind of go through them and sort them out. Those are really pretty. Bit of a dark blue with all the fancy gold stuff on them. Got some cubes. Let's see, we've got these. They almost look like a leopard print, but they're blue, obviously. Well, these are pretty. Yeah, something with some travertine. What are they? Drops? They're like teardrops, but they have three facets. That's very interesting. With some travertine. What are these? They always have. Uh, a couple of cute unexpected things like these. These are little leather tassels. Kind of adorable. Some bead caps. Silver ones. Gold ones. Some little crystals. Bigger crystals. Now interestingly, <laughs> this is actually my very least favorite color combination ever is the triadic primaries. So the, the primary colors, red, yellow, blue. Um, I rarely design with all three colors together. However, you can make it work if you keep in mind proportions. So if you do 80, 20, 10, or even 60, 30, 10, where you don't have an equal amount of each color, you can make it work. So I'm gonna go off and have a play 
and make some designs with this kit. So I'm back a few days later and I took some time to play and made a few things. Here are a couple pairs of earrings I made. I especially love these. This used the big red crystals and the gold spacers and just about every one of these packs, the Jesse James uh, assortments, comes with some sort of tassels and I always love them and I use those for the bottoms of these. Now one thing to keep in mind, these are super easy. The only thing I needed to add was an eye pin, but there was a little bit of a tricky part because if you look at the end of this tassel, it needed a big loop. So it needed about a five millimeter loop, which required about five eighths of an inch of wire. So I actually used an eye pin and I started from the top. So I put it on my ear wire, added a spacer, the crystal, a spacer, then trimmed the wire to five eighths of an inch and made a loop for the tassel. And then I put these together. Not my favorite colors again. This was a challenge to create with this kit because it's just not my favorite color combination. But I think these came out really cute. I just kind of focused on the square ness, I guess. You know what these make me think of? Uh, nutcrackers. I don't know why. These use the little blue crystals and I also use these large hole spacers in between and what you can do to keep them from slopping around on the eye pin, they still move a little, but I actually put a bugle bead in there or you could put a crimp in there just to keep a large hole bead from moving around so much. I also made a bracelet. I was really happy with the way this came out. I used the daggers and the red bugle beads. I had to add split rings and um, the toggle clasp is all. So if one strand has three daggers alternating with one bugle bead, another strand has one dagger alternating with two bugle beads, and the other strand is just bugle beads. So it's a really pretty bracelet with a lot of movement and this used up all of the daggers from the package but I still have a few bugle beads left to play with and one more thing I started to play I haven't finished I took some of these other beads that I liked I like these crystals they're the same as these just smaller and I really like these beads but there's only two of them and I was trying to put them together into maybe a bracelet or a necklace, I'm not sure. So I've just kind of put them on some of the stringing wire. I may have to go into my stash and get some beads to finish that. So after making two pairs of earrings and one and a half ish bracelets, I have all of these beads left still. That's the great thing about these kits. They retail for $32.95 and include everything you need to make quite a few jewelry projects right out of the package, except for the tools, of course. Each lovingly curated based on a theme by their staff every month. And by the way, did you know that Softflex is a small family-run business? Whenever you purchase one of these kits, you can know that on the last Wednesday of the month, they do a Facebook Live video where they unwrap the kit for the month and also make a project on camera for some inspiration. By the time this video will be coming out with this Wonder Woman theme, most likely this kit will be sold out, but the June kit is purple polka dots, so that sounds like a lot of fun. So you can check them out at softflexcompany.com. Now that you've seen these gorgeous beads, the next thing you need to dive into is learning the details of jewelry making. I've put together a Jewelry Making 101 playlist for you to do just that. You can check it out over here on the right upper corner.